and welcome back to the channel on this video I'm going to be riding the Lyric Graffiti uh, this is the 2022 model as you see right there and let's hop on and go for a ride and I'll tell you what I'm doing today it's a windy day here so uh, kind of tricky riding a little bit when it's windy like when you're riding into the wind it can actually uh, move you around a little bit you can feel it but anyway this video though I'm trying something that I haven't done in a while a long while and that is shooting this video in 4k I want to see how this uh, works out because first of all I'm using a GoPro uh, 10 if you didn't know uh, the camera that I'm using and I've had this camera now for about a year and a half and not long after I started the channel I got this camera because the camera I bought first just wasn't good enough and I uh, quickly uh, moved on to get a better camera and I want to turn right here and so I did my research and decided to go with the GoPro. At the time, the GoPro 10 was the latest version. Um, and I have no regrets. I like this camera a lot. And there is one thing that's bugged me for a long time about it, though. And I didn't know at the time I bought it. I guess I didn't do enough research on it because... Uh, the one thing that is a negative for the camera is shooting in 4k this camera gets hot in 4k now I don't know on the newest version uh, if they've um, fixed that issue I hope so so quite a little while ago when I got the camera back a year about a year and a half now if you check back on previous videos that I've done I did a walking video and that was to test out the new camera at the time when I got it and so I did I did a walking video and 20 minutes into my video the camera just suddenly shut off and what happened was it got too warm and the day that I did that video, the temperature was, I think it was in the high 70s, close to 80 degrees. So it was pretty warm that day. But, uh, so then after that, I quickly uh, discovered and learned, well, I guess we're not going to be shooting in 4K. So I went with 1080, which is a common uh, setting for a lot of YouTubers they use 1080p and I don't know why I came up here it's a dead end but anyway uh, 1080p is, is fine it's HD and I, I'm shooting uh, generally at 30 uh, frames per second so this video I'm testing out 4k and I sw uh, switched it up to uh, 60 frames per second and I'm on the wide setting so that's the settings that I'm using and I just want to see what happens here I'm not going to go 20 minutes so and it's not that warm out today actually it's a nice day though for a winter day it's um, 57 degrees out um, and that would be about 14 Celsius so if you're wondering what the weather's like it's sunny and windy here uh, uh but uh i just wanted to check and see because i mean the whole purpose when i got this camera i was looking forward to shooting everything in 4k because you want to make everything you know as good as possible including the uh, video quality So you don't notice it so much if you're watching on a smaller screen, like say you're watching on your phone, 
I don't think you can even tell hardly the difference, but if you're watching on a larger screen, like if you're watching on a, if you have a large uh, computer monitor, or if you're watching on your television, which some people do, uh, you would definitely notice it. So uh, I just want to see what this is going to be like. And if you have a comment on the video or any other video on the channel, just leave down in the comments below. And hey, maybe you're a, a fellow YouTuber and uh, what do you shoot in? Do you shoot in 4K or do you opt for 1080p or something else? I wouldn't go below 1080. I, I know live streams, some people do uh, their live streams for the most part. A lot of them are just 720. I've seen that quite often. And hopefully someday I'll uh, figure out how I can do a live stream riding the bike. That would be really cool. I'd love to do that. And, uh, We'll see uh, in the future if I can do something like that. I would love to do that though. We're kind of spoiled these days because 1080p is no slouch. It's very good quality. But if you're uh, someone that's A little bit older age-wise and I'm sure you'll remember and most of us probably that's a lot covers a lot of us uh, standard definition I go back to uh, the days when we uh, still had black and white TV so uh, We've come a long way compared to that. This is kind of a test video, and if this works out fine in the future, I'll go back to shooting some uh, 4K. But the thing is, when the weather gets warmer, though, I gotta make sure I keep the video short because the camera does get hot. It's actually the battery really that gets hot Let me know if you have a uh, newer GoPro. I guess they're up to number 12 now. Uh, let me know if you have a GoPro, uh, the newest uh, version, and do you have any issues with it overheating? Because uh, maybe that's where I'll have to go in the future to get a uh, newer version because I really like the GoPro camera it shoots very good video I'm impressed with it and uh, but I'd like to shoot 4k so let me know in the comments if you uh, have a new version of GoPro the latest version and do you have any issues with the camera overheating in 4k shooting in 4k I mean I like I say I, I did it before there and it was 20 minutes almost exactly 20 minutes I think I timed it uh, or the video only went 20 minutes and suddenly cut out, cut out so well that's going to do it for this video I'm just doing a check on 4k and hopefully this worked out so if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button 
If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much. Just hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And like I said, if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Thanks for supporting the channel and watching on this video. And we'll catch you on the next one. Until then, keep your wheels on the road.